Welcome to Utah State University Department of Theater Arts. Our department produces six full productions each year across three different venues, the Morgan Theater, the Black Box Theater, and the Kane Lyric Theater. This spread of venues offers our students the unique opportunity to work and perform on proscenium, thrust, and in the round stages, as well as work with green screen and voiceover within our lighting lab setup. Our students have opportunities to design, build, manage, direct, and perform throughout their program, no matter their direct area of interest. Our faculty believe strongly in the value of cross-training so that every student graduates with experience in both technical elements and performance to prepare them to meet the growing needs of the arts industry and education. Utah State Theatre offers several degree types including Bachelor of Arts in General Theatre Studies, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Acting, Design Tech and Education, and Master's Degrees in Lighting, Scenic or Costume Design. Utah State University is an accredited institutional member of the National Association of Schools of Theater. This accreditation indicates that our program adheres to association standards and provides a base of academic strength and operational integrity. Our main stage, the Morgan Theater, seats 670 people and features a thrust stage with movable side wall panels that can open to extend the playing space even further. The Morgan is used for classes, set work, and live performances, including educational outreach programs that bus in children from schools around the valley to offer them the opportunity to experience live theater. The layout of the Morgan and VOM entrance points within the audience offer performers the opportunity to step forward and get up close and personal with the audience, while also learning to engage with and project to a larger space. Front of House features the stage manager's booth and open sound and light booth equipped with an ETC Geo lighting console and Allen and Heath digital mixer and QLab. The Morgan houses a 30-line set fly system and direct access from the stage to the scene shop and prop costume storage, which allows for easier load-ins of set pieces and the opportunity to work directly on stage for the build of shows. USU Theatre Department boasts an extensive prop and costume storage room beneath the stage of the Morgan Theatre. The VOMs offer windowed glimpses at this treasure as you pass unnoticed beneath the audience. Accessible by freight elevator from the scene and costume shops, or stairwells from backstage, this room houses all types of furniture, lighting fixtures, set dressings, dishes, and costume pieces, all organized to help you select that perfect something for the show. Maybe something else. Leaving the Morgan, we head into Dressing Room Row and on to the dance studio.
not just for dance classes. This space is utilized for workshops, rehearsals, stage combat, and a variety of other pursuits. Passing down a simple white hallway, we come to the technical heart of the department. Here we house the print lab, primarily used by the set design program for model work, but also by the costume and props departments for small pieces. The lab features three 3D printers, a large format plotter, and color printer and copier. Entering the Art and Mary Hears Scene Shop, we find another unique aspect of the USU Theatre Department. We have not one, but three separate, full-size shop spaces and a ground-level loading dock. Cutting area and tool room. Build and setup area. And paint shop, with some electrical gear storage as well. Leaving the scene shop behind, we head into the lighting lab. This is the place for our student designers to experiment with virtual lighting visualization, projection building, green screen techniques, and voiceover recording. Next, we move up to the second floor of the department and head into the costume shop. Domain of all things costume craft, our shop features the best views in the department with a whole lot of natural light to aid the stitchers. The gallon dye vat in the laundry area offers UST shop the capability of dyeing not only costumes, but full drops as well. Costume shop is equipped with 16 domestic and 3 industrial sewing machines. Our faculty bring their expertise to work, helping costume emphasis students focus in on detail and historical accuracy in their research, designs, and production, as well as teaching all department students the basics of costume craft in practicum and production calls. Heading on down the theater office hallway, we come to our smart classroom ready for virtual class needs as well as in-person ones. Continue on to the control room and tech booth for the Black Box Theater. Black Box Theater is a studio space with flexible seating for roughly 90 people. This stage is the main home of the acting students, and is used primarily for classwork, staged readings, and new works where an intimate or in-the-round setting might be preferable. Seating can be arranged any way you want it to accommodate a host of creative plans.
Next, we travel off campus, down the hill and right into the heart of downtown Logan. Located on Center Street, the Kane Lyric Theater is a local treasure listed on the Utah State Historical Register. The Thatcher family built and opened the Lyric Theater following the Thatcher Opera House fire in 1913. In 2001, the crown jewel of Center Street was renovated and reopened, renamed the Kane Lyric Theater. Restorations and expansions included a new lobby reception area, restrooms, and dressing rooms. The Kane Lyric Theater not only supports student productions from USU, but is also home to the Lyric Repertory Company. The Lyric Rep is a small professional theater company founded in 1967 by W. Fosco Call and has delighted audiences from around the country for more than 50 years. Mentor to many, this founding father of performing arts in Logan left behind a legacy of stage directing excellence and generational storytelling. Fosco became department head at UST and oversaw a renaissance of the department and the acquisition of the Lyric Theater beginning a movement of preservation that inspired others to help protect further local downtown venues like the Ellen Eccles Theatre and Utah Theatre. Down in the basement of the Kane Lyric Theatre, you can still find a blend of old and new. New dressing rooms give way to the original green room, with its narrow spiral staircase winding up to stage right. And the old dressing rooms, now passed into storage spaces and dusty memories. These are the places that bring the ghost story to mind. The Lyric Theatre is believed to be haunted by the ghost of Everett, an actor playing the second gravedigger in the original production of Hamlet touring through. Reportedly, the actor playing the first gravedigger became wildly jealous of Everett's attention-stealing ways in their scenes. Everett went missing for subsequent performances, and the first gravedigger had a fresh, new skull for his scene. Coming up the stairs onto stage right, you can see more of the original space in the old brickwork wall bordering the White Owl Bar and the narrow pathway to the stage itself. The original fly system was hemp rope with sandbag counterweights, and it took a few strong people hanging off of ropes in the fly loft to shift the drops and electrics. Currently, everything is hung on a grid system below the original loft. The Lyric Theater is a proscenium theater, sometimes referred to as a jewel box theater, thanks to the ornate work throughout the house and proscenium arch. You'll find six national crests lining the proscenium opening. Shortly after World War II, an unstable individual came and took a hatchet to the German crest, cutting off the tips of the eagle's wings. The house officially seats 378, though you might also spot Everett watching from the house right loge.
In the back of the balcony lie the tech booth and audio. The first section of the tech booth is the domain of the stage manager. From here, they call all things. Up in the middle portion lives the light board, an ETC ion, and a view of the whole house. The stage manager's booth and Farhouse left booth double as the spot booths. Exiting through the loading dock door into the back alley, we say goodbye to the Lyric Theatre.